Hi everyone, I'd like to practice my two times table today and I was hoping you could help me out. I'm going to start by putting all the multiples of two all the way to 20 on my counting stick and practice counting forwards and backwards. Can you tell me which ones need to go on as I add them on as well? Today we're going to start counting from zero. Zero. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. And finally, twenty. What do you notice about all the multiples of two? Are they odd or even? That's right, they're all even numbers. They end in either a zero, two, four, six, or eight. That's how many ones they've got, which means that they are even numbers. As you count in twos, you miss start at zero, miss one out each time. We're missing out the odd numbers, one, three, five, and just saying the even numbers. Should we practice counting in twos from zero to 20 and then back again? I'm going to let you do it this time. So I'll start at zero, but then I want you to say them out loud as I point to them. Are you ready? Zero. Good job. Let's try counting backwards now. 20. Excellent job, well done. Now let's see if we can use that knowledge to answer some two times table facts now. I'll say the number sentence and I'll point to where I think it is on the counting stick and let's see if you can shout out the answers. Are you ready? Zero times two is zero. One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. Six times two is 12. Seven times two is 14. Eight times two is 16. Nine times two is 18. And 10 times two is 20. Hmm, I've noticed something. When I multiply something by two, it's the same as doubling that number. So double three is six, and three times two is six. Double five is 10, and five times two is 10. That might help me later on. Let's practice, let's change the order now and see if you can still shout out the answers. Three times two. One times two. Seven times two. Six times two, two times two, zero times two, ten times two, nine times two, eight times two, four times two. Great job. Let's see if we can take some of these off and make it a little bit trickier for you. I'm going to take away zero times two because we know if we multiply any number by zero, the answer will be zero. So I'm going to take that one away. I think we're also quite confident that one times two, one lot of two, that's just two. So I can take that one away as well. And I think I'll take away the 10 times two as well, which we should know is 20. Let's see if you can do them without them on the counting stick now. 10 times two is 20, well done. Zero times two is zero, and one times two is two. Three times two, Five times two, four times two, seven times two, eight times two, six times two, nine times two, one times two, and ten times two. 
Good job. I think you're definitely ready for a few more to be taken off now. Let's take off two times two because we know double four, double two, sorry, is four. So we know two times two is four. Let's take away the three times two. I'm quite confident that double three is six. So I know that three lots of two, two, four, six. I'll move that one away. And let's see if you can remember what five times two is as well. Double five is 10. Five x five is 10. So I'm gonna take that one away because we know that five times two is 10 as well. Five times two is 10. Three times two is six. Two times two is four, well done. One times two, zero times two, four times two, six times two, seven times two, eight times two, nine times two, 10 times two. Let's take away a couple more. Let's take away four times two, which is eight. Double four is eight, so four times two is eight. And let's take away nine times well. We know double nine is 18. And if it's tricky with the nine times table, if I know 10 times two is 20, then I know nine times two is just one two less than that. And I know 20 subtract two, that's gonna leave me with 18. So I know nine times two is 18. Let's have a practice. We'll leave these three on at the moment, these tricky ones. Five times two is 10. Zero times two, four times two, that's eight. 10 times two is 20. So nine times two, double nine is 18. Eight times two, seven times two, six times two, five times two, three times two, and zero times two. Good job, right. Time for the final challenge. I'm gonna take all of these off now and see if you can remember that six times two is 12, seven times two is 14, and eight times two is 16. Good luck. I'll say them out loud so you can say the answers to me. Four times two, eight. Seven times two, 14. One times two is two. Three times two, six, nine times two, 18, 10 times two, 20, two times two, it's four, seven times two, 14, eight times two, 16, six times two, it's 12, five times two is 10, and finally, all the way back to zero times two is zero. Okay, well done, you've done a great job and I think you are ready for a few chili challenges. And here they are, some chili challenges all linked to the two times table. You could choose to do these on a scrap piece of paper or maybe you could do some and practice in your home learning book as well. If you want to do the one chili, there are a couple of number sentences there with some of the times tables types we've just looked at. If you want to challenge yourself with two chili, there are some missing number problems for you to have a look at. I wonder what has to go here to make these number sentences correct. And if you fancy doing three chili, well, as you know, my counting stick only went up to 10 times two, but I'd like to know what 11 times two and 12 times two is as well. I wonder if you could work that out. And finally, if you want to really challenge yourself, there's a bit of a thinking question here for you to have a think about as well. It says, if I count in twos from zero, like we did at the start, Will I say 33? And how do you know? So you can have a think about that one as well. And pause the video now to have a go, and then play it again when you're finished, and we'll look at some of the answers. Good luck. Hi again, how did you get on? Should we have a look at some answers together? Maybe you could say them out loud as I write them down. Let's start with chili one. Three times two is six. I know double three is six. Three lots of two is six as well. What's five times two? 10. And finally, for chili one, one times two is just two. Did any of you find out the missing numbers in these number sentences? What do I have to multiply by two to get to eight? Well, if I know multiplying by two is the same as doubling, then I know dividing by two, the inverse, that's gonna be the same as halving. I know half of eight, 
is four. So four times two, double four, must be eight. Yes, that's right. What do I have to times by two to get to 14? 14 divided by two, ah, it's seven that goes into that one. So seven times two, the product of seven and two is 14. How about these two, the tricky ones that we didn't do? 11 times two. Well, I know when I multiply something by 11, because 11 has got 110 and 11, and I multiply each one by two, well, it's going to give me two tens, and it's going to give me two ones. So my answer will be 22. And then I've got two choices here for 12 times two. If I know 11 times two is 22, I can just add an extra two on to find out what 12 times two is, or I could use my knowledge of my two times table and my 10 times table to help me. I could partition 12 into 10 and two. I know 10 times two is 20. I know two times two is four. I can put those back together. And my answer, the product of 12 and two, is 24. Well done. Did any of you have a little think about this as well? If you counted in twos from zero, would you say the number 33? And hopefully you worked out that no, you wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? Because 33 is an odd number, it ends in a three. And we know from our work at the start when we count in twos, we only say even numbers ending in zero, two, four, six, or eight. Because 33 has three ones, it is an odd number. We won't say it counting in twos. Well done if you worked that one out and explained it well as well. Well done for your hard work today. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more confident now with the two times table, but it's always worth going back to the start every so often and going back through the counting stick again, just to keep practicing. Well done and see you again soon.